May God bless you. May God keep you. May the Lord protect you. We face a myriad of choices, crossroads, and challenges that often leave us bewildered and uncertain. In the face of these moments of indecision and perplexity, we can find solace and guidance in the Holy Spirit, the divine guide who accompanies us on our spiritual journey. Through the sacred pages of Scripture, we are repeatedly reminded of the vital role of the Holy Spirit in leading us to truth, justice, and peace. He is our celestial compass, our unparalleled comfort, and our divine whisper that guides us through life's labyrinths. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, Scripture reveals the presence and power of the Holy Spirit in the lives of those who earnestly seek Him. In the book of Isaiah, we are instructed that the Spirit of the Lord will rest upon the Messiah, bringing with Him wisdom, understanding, counsel, strength, knowledge, and fear of the Lord. Isaiah 11 verse 2. These divine attributes, manifested through the Holy Spirit, are also available to us, His children, as we yield to His guidance. In the New Testament, the Holy Spirit is promised by Jesus Christ to His disciples as the Comforter who will guide them into all truth. John 16, 13. This promise was not only for those who were physically present at that moment, but extends to all who believe in Christ throughout the centuries. The Holy Spirit is a living and active presence in the believer's life, empowering them to discern the will of God and walk in righteousness. Throughout our lives, we face a multitude of decisions, some significant and others seemingly insignificant. However, the Holy Spirit is not limited by the scale of these choices. He is always ready to guide us, regardless of the situation. Psalm 32 verse 8 declares, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. What a beautiful promise! The Holy Spirit not only guides us through His transcendent wisdom, but also accompanies us with a loving and watchful eye, ensuring that we are on the right path. The Holy Spirit grants us spiritual discernment to distinguish between good and evil, between truth and deception. In 1 John 4 1, we are urged to test the spirits to see if they are from God, for many false prophets have arisen in the world. In this world of moral and spiritual complexities, the Holy Spirit is our divine filter, enabling us to discern truth from lies, light from darkness. Our receptivity to the guidance of the Holy Spirit is crucial. We must be willing to listen to His gentle voice and obey His instructions, even when it goes against our own desires and inclinations. The book of Proverbs warns us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. This is the essence of the Christian life. To completely trust in God and depend on His Spirit to guide us every step of the way. The work of the Holy Spirit in our lives is not limited only to personal guidance, but also to the edification of the community of faith. It is He who enables and equips believers with various spiritual gifts for mutual service and the building up of the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 7 When we submit to the leadership of the Holy Spirit in our individual and corporate lives, we experience deep unity and supernatural effectiveness in carrying out God's work on earth. Therefore, we are not alone in our spiritual journey. The Holy Spirit is with us, by our side, as a faithful friend and an infallible guide. He knows the ways of the desert and the paths of the dark valleys. He will safely lead us to the final destination, where we will find eternal rest in His presence. May we open our hearts and minds to receive His divine guidance and follow in the footsteps of the Master, confident that the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth and lead us to the abundant life that God has prepared for us. Amen. Let's pray. In this sacred moment, humbly we come to you, acknowledging your sovereignty and your infinite love for us. You are the God who created us, who sustains us, and who guides us in every moment of our earthly journey. And today, Father, 
We want to give thanks for the constant and powerful presence of your Holy Spirit in our lives. Holy Spirit, you who are the divine comforter, the infallible guide in our journeys, we praise and worship you. We recognize that without your guidance, we are lost amidst the uncertainties of this world. But with your presence, we are strengthened, enlightened, and empowered to walk according to your will. Grant us, Holy Spirit, the wisdom to discern your gentle voice amidst the tumult of our own desires and wishes. Give us sensitive ears to hear your instructions and an obedient heart to follow your ways, even when it seems difficult or contrary to our limited understanding. May your transforming power work in us, renewing our minds and our hearts, so that we may reflect your glory in all that we do. Empower us to love as you love, to forgive as you forgive, and to serve as you served, so that the world may see in us the reflection of your love and redeeming grace. Holy Spirit, we also ask that you lead us in truth, keeping us away from all deception and illusion that may divert us from your purpose for our lives. Strengthen our faith, so that we may stand firm in the face of trials and adversities, confident that you are our safe refuge and our unshakable strength. Lord, fill us with your supernatural power, enabling us to live lives that glorify your holy name. May every step we take be guided by the light of your truth, and may every decision we make be inspired by your divine wisdom. Lord, I ask you, Holy Spirit, give wisdom to your children. There are people here with me, in this prayer, who in the coming days will need to make decisions, and they cannot afford to make mistakes. Therefore, I ask, Holy Spirit, give wisdom to your children, that when they go to sleep, the Lord visits them in the early hours, giving them the wisdom they need to make the right directions, the right decisions. In you, Father, there is no error. Directions given by you, work out. I want to entrust every son, every daughter of the Lord into your hands at this moment. In the name of the Lord Jesus, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Glory to God.